are going to take the dog off for a walk. I think maybe we're going to have a couple of coffees on the way. And we're quickly going to do a bathroom update. Yeah. And we've got a little bit to tell you about the renovation. To us, it's not worth putting yeah. that much money into, into our house, unfortunately. And I will learn to love you if it's too expensive if to get rid of you. <laughs> I will. I promise. <laughs> hey, hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We've had a little bit of a slow start to the morning today. Yeah. It's already one minute to 10 o'clock mm -hmm. um, and we're getting on with the day. I had a nice cup of tea in bed though. We that did. Was and I did a little bit of admin work on my yeah. laptop and I have a ginormous spot on my chin which I spent the morning squeezing. Why? I Why do you do this? It was huge. It just I never the spots. Well, I never have spots like that. It was like big with a white head, like it was like a ooh, like a mm, volcano under the skin. Did it actually pop then? It, oh yeah. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Because usually Karis is just like squeezing like invisible spots on yeah. her face. Okay, I will admit I do do that. That's yeah. like my anxiety like soothers when I just go to the mirror and I just squeeze a skin. non-existent spot. Just skin. skin. And yeah. James has to be like, get away from the mirror and then he chases me and tickles me and it really scares me. But yeah, this one was a natural volcano spot. Monster. No, don't. I literally <laughs> hope you tickled. Okay. What are we doing today, Boo? We're gonna. So we're gonna. Oh, don't call me Boo. That's a good start. So we're gonna take the I dog. I always call you Boo. Uh, <laughs> we are going to take the dog off for a walk. I think maybe get a couple of coffees on the way, um, and then yeah, take her on a walk, and then we've got some bits and bobs to do here when we get back. Yes, we do. Oh, the first thing that I wanted to do oh, yes. was no, I wasn't expecting you to say that one. Was I did a piece of art for the bathroom. We're having our bathrooms done at the of course moment. Of you did. Um, and oh, as you go. Darling. What else would I have done my art for? Just any single room in our house that needs art doing for it. The ensuite bathroom. Now, I've actually decided this canvas size is way too big. I don't know why I thought that it would suit this canvas size. It's absolutely huge and it's a tiny ensuite. But we had a marble... Um, we have... I'll just take you up there. We have an orange marble in the ensuite. So I tried to go for, like, orange marble tones. Now, I realised I didn't have much orange, so it ended up being, like, brownie neutral tones. So I just wanted to see whether... Past the master bathroom. Oh, sure. sneak peek. Oh, sneak peek. That's the other bathroom that's getting done. So this is... Let me just give you... In case you no, haven't seen it. On the floor again. Don't worry. <laughs> There's our uh, paint testers. It's not staying pink. For anyone new, <laughs> we are trying to figure out what colour to paint the room. So it's like an orange marble and it does have hints of brown in it. So I was like, okay, let's do like a cool abstract brownie leafed vibe. Why am I so out of breath? Those stairs are hard. We do have two extra stairs in the standard household, so yeah. that's clearly it. Always reminded me. I basically wanted to see whether I could do a smaller version maybe of, you know, this colour scheme. What do you think? Does it go? Um, yeah, I think it goes. Mm. Difficult to see up against the pink, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's not as orangey as I would have liked, but like I said, I don't have that much orange string and I'm not really... Yeah. I think it does go. I think it or goes. Or is it too much brown? I'm trying to get it with a towel, actually. It doesn't not go, if that makes sense. And is that too big? No, that size could work. Sorry, that size could work. I don't know, Karis, you're the arty one. I'm quite chilled with what Let me guys pieces. know. Let me Let guys me know. know. Let me guys know, guys. Really? Let me know, guys, what you think. Because actually, I think that's quite a good size there. I forgot how big the space was. Yeah, I think that's quite a good size. I, like... I think you can go smaller, but there's not really anything wrong with that size. The only issue yeah. is it should be central to the shelf, in my opinion. Sure. Which you can't do because of the pan pass. No, it's not pan pass, boo. What is it? But it's similar. That is it's definitely pan pass, isn't it? Bright. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, I think that would look good. Yes, I'm not sure how embroidered canvas works in a bathroom. But I thought I'd just do a piece and test it out. To be honest, until recently we weren't sure how important a canvas worked anywhere in the house. Who? Don't test me. I know, but that's true because we've only done it recently. Oh yeah, and we've never I know, bought but I mean before. in a bathroom in terms of with water and it getting wet and stuff. Oh right, yeah. I can't see us somehow getting that wet. Exactly, that's like, what I thought. I'm not going to be flicking this tap water. This bathroom steam up. No, that's true. We've got a pretty good fan. Also guys, so the other small changes that we've had, a spotlight fitted in here. Oh yeah, turn one. Look at that. So we got rid of our big light that was there. We've literally got a single spotlight here. It's and it so does bright. the job. And then we've got a new fan above the uh, the oh, shower. So, so we do have another spotlight over there. It's it's really so yeah, we've still got obviously the painting and the ceiling and plastering and all that left to do. Not but plastering. after that... Yes, sorry, I won't interrupt. Just, just, is that plastering? Just oh, fixing that. Yeah, the decorator will just fix yeah. that. And then it's pretty much done. Oh, hello, Mila. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, like we said, we've actually painted the majority of our house ourselves up to this point, but we are not going to risk getting paint on our new bathroom. No. We are 
pretty terrible, aren't we, at being clean? Yeah. So we are going to try and find someone to paint our... I'm oh, sorry. Look at that. Look at that Paul. Hello. Look at that tongue. Hello. What's that little tongue doing? Hello. What's that little tongue you doing? You could sit facing the window. We'd get good lighting of you, babe. I know. <laughs> Can we go in? Come on. Come on. You're onto the rug where you know you slip over. So we've come out to a gorgeous uh, woodland walk. We're literally just leaving the car park. James is locking the car. Um, they have these really cool, like, wooden sculptures as you go round. I feel like it just, you know, jazzes up the walk a bit. It's meant to be for go the on, kids, Boo, hop but, on. You know, we take great pride. Hop on the dragon. Oh. Is it a dragon? Yeah, it's definitely a dragon, isn't it? Go on, Boo. Oh, you've got the merch on as well. <laughs> you are enough on a dragon. <laughs> So as we said before, we usually do about an hour walk a day um, mm. because we've been, well, we usually do an hour walk anyway, but I thought I would update you guys on our mm. three, is it three million? No, a million steps in, in three, three months. months. Yeah. Which we spoke about before. Is this through there? No, we're going there. Which we spoke about before. So James is on 535,988 and I just have to read you. I'm clicking on James's steps. Uh, his, some of his steps for the one. last... Yeah, they're good. they're good. So this is James's like number of steps for the last few times, working backwards from yesterday. Seventeen thousand two hundred, seventeen thousand nine hundred, twenty-three thousand six hundred, fourteen thousand eight hundred. Ooh, twenty-six thousand six hundred, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. For I just. I get in, so with James was on you five. You get in loads of steps though. You're literally mm. there with me. I'm a bit behind you, so you're on 535,000. I'm on 493,000. I didn't put in yesterday's steps yet, which was 18,000. You're joking no, me. No. <laughs> so me, James, and my uncle, <laughs> we're doing like a family, um, it's with loads of us on there. But we're kind of the top Me. <laughs> <laughs> we're not trying to sound like, you know, rude or arrogant. We're fighting we're for far, top. We're far ahead of the back. <laughs> we are, although my uncle is far ahead of all of, of me and James. Um, he does a ridiculous amount of steps. So we're yeah. trying to get our we steps up there. We're trying to compete with, yeah. with my uncle. Um, and I'm, I feel like you actually have a winning chance. I, I'm, I'm determined. You're you know? doing so well. If, if any of Gowan's kids, Ruby, if you're listening to this, I'm gonna I'm hold gonna him be, back. Yeah, if you could just like be ill, so yeah. you can't go out walking so much, that would be that'd great. be great. <laughs> we want to win. <laughs> so we're in the middle of the forest. Um, we've done how long? Not very long. Twenty minutes. <laughs> um, and we're trying to find this tea room, which we know is about out and about in this forest somewhere it's here somewhere and we've never been able to find it before yeah last time we tried to find it we got well not lost but we just took the wrong way and they do takeaways and they're now open so we were like today we're determined to find them i, know I think me being in the vlog sorry but, you know i just think this is potentially a little bit far <laughs> literally blocking you out as much as i can so yeah we're on our way to find it and i have a good feeling about this because i just saw a sign yes we did tea just room. see a sign that said tea room's now open so and we're hoping we're going the right direction Bill, who's the who gave the right direction Mila me Mila, I did us up again. I did guys and I'm very chuffed with myself oh look I see another sign there we go forest tea room forest tea room forest tea room I think it's down there Mila knows the way she can smell the food can you see it look at the peacock and there's another one there he's looking at himself in the mirror as you do. He's doing his makeup. Thank you, Karis. Bye, guys. Got our coffees. Back on the road. That was a lovely little halfway stop during the walk. Day. <laughs> so hard. Oh my god, I'm spilling it on the so well back. I'm spilling the coffee on your back. I'm so sorry. Why is this? I don't know why I'm still vlogging. There we go. Okay. Run away. Hey. That's yes. not the way. That's James singing. Um. <laughs> What was it? We don't, we don't need, need no education. What's that from? I don't actually know what that's from. I don't know what that's from. It's, oh. it's just a song, isn't it? Oh, they um, sing it in a lot of movies. I feel like it should be in a musical, mm. like Matilda. Like um, School of Rock. Need... Yes! I don't know if it is. Maybe it is. Let us know. We're back from the walk. Um, I've just fake tanned, hence why I'm in taking my peach to sleep pajamas. Oh, I'll say my fake tan too. 
Oh my god, boo, fake tanning looking so oh, good. So darker than you. You're glowing. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I have to keep fake tanning because I never actually tan in the sun. So I feel like I just have to keep up with James because in the summer Kyle's months. Because skin's uh, shred, <laughs> shred so much skin. Eczema. So yeah, she has to fake tan. She literally can't naturally tan. If I naturally tan on holiday, it face. just falls off on the plane home because my skin, just like James said, I'm like a snake, it just yeah. sheds. So yeah, I've just fake tanned. Um, gonna get dressed after some food and get ready, but we're having fish finger sandwiches for lunch, which I'm so excited about. James came up with that idea, and I feel like a child again, but I'm so excited. I love a fish finger sandwich. It's like, I feel like it's gone back around now from being like a child's food to like what they do in like posh cafes for, for lunch. Yeah. Like, ooh, have a fish finger wrap. It's some rustic. <laughs> Literally. A bit of salad. Oh, we should have tartar sauce. Mm. Tart. So yeah, we're gonna have our lunch break and then get ready for the rest of the day and we've got a little bit to tell you about the renovation. Here we go, we've got our fish finger sandwiches, cups of tea for after. Oh, you like coleslaw on the side. Oh, what? Coleslaw on the side. Oh, do you put coleslaw in yours? Yeah. Wow, boo, you've got a full on sandwich going there. That's what I do. <laughs> He's the sandwich king. Um, we're watching Modern Family. We got flies, so so really yeah, I was just going to say slowly making our way through, uh, but we're on series seven, as you can mm. see already. We love Modern Family so much. Okay, so we're all dressed and ready. I feel like I've tried to... Yeah, James has not changed whatsoever. <laughs> I'm still in my walking stuff. You still got your shoes on. I just walked down the post office to post something. Oh, you walk. Getting my steps in. Oh my gosh, you cheeky. <laughs> you cheeky. I saw you the... in the shower and I was like, I'm going to get some more steps in. I'm going to get some more steps in. Every day. I just checked my cheek settings and everything seems to cheek be within settings. normal operating parameters. Cheek settings? Isn't cheek setting? Oh my gosh, he catched your cheeky. And so he said, I just checked my cheeks settings and everything seems to be working. I guess because I said you're cheeky. Oh, that's funny. Siri, stop trying to get involved. We're going to do a little bit of a talk about a renovation update. Yeah. We mentioned in the mukbang, James just made his coffee, of course. He can't do like a little sit down chat without having a coffee in his hand. No, no way. No um, way, Jose. We've whipped out the plans here and we thought we'd just run you through what is happening with the renovation. So we're getting a lot of questions on the big renovation that we have planned. So let me first of all just run you through our initial plans when we moved into this house. We moved into this house in January this year. We absolutely love this house and I know when I post on my stories, I know that so many of you are like, why are you changing the kitchen? It's so, so lovely. So let me just show you the kitchen because we honestly do love it and we've lived here now for six months without doing any big renovations and we love this house so much and the kitchen is absolutely gorgeous whoa boo can i just say yeah what we wanted to improve in the kitchen go in terms of the kitchen is lovely it's such a nice space and it's really cool that these kind of like more vaulted ceilings yeah we love it really love it but what we feel is a shame about the space is that you can't see the garden in a lot of places in the kitchen so you can like hear here you can't see the garden, yeah. or like in the actual kitchen itself, it's not very easy. And we love our garden, we want to be able to see it as much as possible. So, we love it. We wanted to bring a lot more glass to this space, yes. so that we can see out in the garden. And also, we wanted to like, kind of try to get rid of these or something, mm. so that we could have this as a more usable space. Because right now, it just doesn't feel like it's that usable of a space. Yeah, so yeah. these pillars here mm. were the original... Um, where this house used to end. You're so they are stru- Huh? You're not a pillar. Don't be <laughs> <laughs> Hi! <laughs> we tried to put this wall here to add like, um, this mirror here to add like, you know, different vibes so it wouldn't be so pillory. Mm. But um, yeah, the pillars are where, they're, they're, at, they're not, um, oh my gosh, this is why I don't explain anything. I'm literally the worst. Basically the pillars are really hard to remove. They are structural walls, because aren't they? they are the original external walls of the house. So this one here is the original external corner of our house. Which so is... it takes a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. So we always knew it was going to be a bit complicated, but basically our idea, we didn't say our idea, did we? No. Was to, our original idea was to get rid of the pillars, take this whole wall down here, out so knock all this wall down and take it out to where that first window is so only like two meters maybe push it that way and have a whole glass wall running down there which will so, be sliding doors or by yep. and then we were going to like move the kitchen around and have an island and have it facing out there we're going to have a dining room area a coffee we were going to have um, a utility room by here so the good thing with that idea is that we wouldn't have to get rid of the external wall here so that could take beams because we would turn this into a utility. So that was plan number one. And that's what we, when we said in the mukbang that we'd paid thousands already on getting all our ideas 
onto sketches and stuff, we have worked through these plans with people. We have gone through two separate people now, um, quite in detail about that idea and that extension. Just to also make, to make clear, not to yes. step on any toes, we haven't paid thousands just for this plan. No. In terms of that was for other work that we were thinking of doing in the attic and stuff like that. Oh yeah, so that was this it. This plan oh wasn't gosh, thousands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did play money, it's just what we. Which we've... is just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. It adds up for. It adds up to a lot, in my opinion, when you're not gonna actually go ahead with it. But that's what you know. You can't just mm. use up people's time and not pay. I'm not begrudging paying for it. We wanted to pay yeah, for it like and have the sketches. Architects need to get paid for. Of course work, they do. They don't then go ahead with yeah. it. Yes. So. No, I have no, nothing. No issues with that. But just on a personal level, is then a bit more like oh, gutting if the work yeah. doesn't go through or you decide you can't do it for whatever reason. Anyway, so we had all that planned up. We had two separate builders quote, and like um, companies come and quote. And basically what happened was, we had an idea around how much it was gonna cost, and it just blew our minds. And I just wanna say before we reveal how much the different areas cost, um, we are not saying in this video that the, that the builders or companies over like you know took us for granted or set you know it's not saying that anything. it's not worth that amount there were reasons why it ended up being that much for the certain companies to quote on so i don't want to oh yeah like james said i don't want to step on any toes i'm not saying that it wasn't worth that to the companies yeah. or whatever but it's not it, worth it to us it, that's exactly kind of the point, isn't it it doesn't matter like that's what they would charge to do yeah. it and that's fine but to us it's not worth Putting yeah. that much money into into our house, unfortunately, it's, and it's just so expensive. <laughs> it just blew our minds, so we thought we'd run you guys through it. As we said, we're literally just taking the wall down and moving it out, and the building work alone, with not with VAT or yeah. including VAT, came to about hundred k, a hundred thousand yeah, pounds. Over a hundred thousand, and that's before we then actually buy our kitchen, fit our kitchen, buy our tiles, fit our tiles, fit a downstairs toilet, fit a downstairs utility. So it was just We were looking about mental. 100, we worked out the other day at about 150k minimum for all of that, like, you know, putting in a nice kitchen, tiles, it all adds up. And I think it just came it? to a huge amount more yeah. than we thought. We weren't, you know, we weren't under, as in we weren't being silly in our head, we weren't like, this is going to cost us 20k. We had some people that were kind of in the industry that were like, yes. oh yeah, it should cost X amount. And then when people came up and kind of really looked at what needed done and where all the RSJs needed to go and all the supporting walls and this and that and this. So the doors alone cost about seven grand. So it just all adds up so It quickly. adds up a lot. And we saw a breakdown of the cost yeah. and we, we know that, yeah. Well, it's it exactly just, where the money was going. And it was just all, it just all added yeah. up basically. And I think the issue is when, when we've spoken to people, like you can build, with a hundred thousand pounds, you can build more than basically this oh, yeah. extension, this building plus the, not this house, but this added on bit plus the extension from scratch. You could build that for a hundred thousand mm pounds, -hmm. and it seemed ridiculous that we were just adding on a wall for a hundred thousand pounds. But it wasn't that. It was the fact that it was in more inefficient to mm -hmm. add it on than it would have been to basically if, if this, this hadn't here. been here, yeah. it would have cost less to build it all from scratch. If this hadn't been here, yeah, we could have added. You know, we would have paid a hundred thousand pounds and like. It would have been under a hundred thousand pounds for yeah. everything. You yeah, know, exactly. For the kitchen for the yeah, it would probably been bigger and nicer. And, yes, but it's just because this is here. It's so awkward to kind of get something to take the weight of this roof. Well, and it's just, no. Yeah, so we're trying to add on room while there's already this room with all the structure balancing perfectly yeah. for this amount of space. We want to add loads of glass, so there's RSJs, yeah. and then the roof alone, just retiling and everything, roofs are so expensive. So anyway, mm. 150K blew our minds, and we sadly decided, I think I think, <laughs> I, think I think the 150k decided for us. <laughs> uh, yes, we very quickly decided that we certainly were not going to be willing to. And honestly, it might be that it's all down to what it's worth for you. Somebody might see that and be like, it's definitely worth that for me. And fine, it all depends on a million different things. For us, it definitely wasn't what we wanted to do. It wasn't how much we wanted to spend. And so we've been looking into other options and we haven't really come up with a conclusion yet. We've got no. a structural engineer coming soon to have a look at the whole structure and look at every, oh my gosh, this door is literally creaking away. To look at everything and to quote up with another builder to do, do you want to explain what we are hoping to do? Yeah, so like, yeah, we're really excited to do something with the space. And I think we've said all along, haven't we, that we don't need to add more space to the downstairs. 
we just need to kind of make this potentially flow flow a bit better because not only would we like the extra glass so we want some flow yeah and so what we're hoping to do is to knock a door now this is what we're hoping to do here which will but well, this is only partition so it should be easy enough so knock a door into there to take us through to what we want to make a snug and then what we'd like to do is to put, get rid of this pillar and to put in a nice thin you can get like steel kind of things that will support the weight and they're quite small and literally like that Mm -hmm. So rather than having this big thing, it's have a nice steel rod that would then link onto a pane of glass that would go here rather than a door. And then we'll run down this room from about, you know, from that steel kind of support all the way down this room. We'd have sliding doors and all by, and all by folding doors yeah. down to just beyond that window. Mm -hmm. um, and then we don't know whether we're going to be able to get rid of this. That's literally up in the air. So that's what a structural engineer is going to tell us. Because I'm quite confident we can do that. Mm. You know, obviously depending on how much it costs. I'm not so sure we would be able to get rid of this completely. Yeah. For me, it's these pillars. Yeah. I just think as long as these pillars, something these happens to them. Yeah, pillar or pillars pillar or whatever. Okay. Um, one of them needs to go yeah. and it'll just create a lot more open space for yeah. us. And then I think we'll have a, a lovely kitchen redone or what, how, whatever we choose yeah, to we do. we have a new kitchen down there, maybe a dining space here and then turn this into like a little sitting area with some armchairs, and again, if we can get rid of that, it would then be a lovely flow. Yeah. We can sit on the sofa, talk to someone on the table, or talk to someone in the kitchen, and then through there we'd have like our cosy TV snug room. And it would like be a really nice flow then, and something we can really visualise living in for like a long, long time. That's the plan. That is our plan. And so we've got life plan. structural, well, I'm not going to get too excited about it because of the fact that things haven't gone to plan when people have come up and seen ideas before. And to be honest, they might come up and literally say, these are the reason that it's going to be so expensive. Yeah. This is the reason, or whatever you still want to do is the reason it's going to be so expensive. So we're going to speak to the guy on Thursday and see what he says and just go from there, really. But we, whatever happens, like we said yeah. in the mukbang, we are going to transform this space and yes, make I it a bit of us. If that then ends up too expensive, we will just be fitting kind of a new yeah. kitchen and putting in a nice new dining table. Because like we said, the space is lovely. It's just kind of perfecting it, isn't it? Yeah. It's just kind of making exactly what we want. And we love putting our stamp on houses. Definitely. But houses, we did it on the front. One. And like we want to do it here and I think like we've done the bathrooms upstairs and now I couldn't imagine ever wanting a nicer bathroom so I think if you do things how you want to do them you're likely to you're then not going to want to move yeah I mean it's investing in your own house isn't mm, it so exactly and that's nobody also doing that 150 grand work would not have been investing exactly we never would have got that back on there's, sell on value yeah there's a limit to how much you can actually invest yeah. until it becomes not Ridiculous. not good no. um, and so that, yeah like James said this house wouldn't have gone up in value enough to have invested mm -hmm. that much but yeah we're setting ourselves a budget which is a lot less than 150k and we're going to see <laughs> I don't know really how much it's going to be our budget we're we were hoping to do it unfortunately for like a we? third of that but i'm not sure if that's even going to be possible but we shall see fingers crossed fingers crossed we thought we'd update you with that finger finger crossed high five there we go. <laughs> There's much more valuable things in life to get a head up over, so we're not getting too no, head up over no, it. I just sent a text to your sister. Oh no, same she more. didn't get the house. No! Yeah, I know. That's really sad, isn't it? Yeah, my sister and her girlfriend have been. Oh my gosh, why didn't they get it? I'm Someone literally just get it. Someone just outbid them. Oh my god, that's literally broken. Someone my heart. outbid them. I know. They sent like a personalised letter to. <laughs> They actually offered six grand over asking and someone still outbid them. Oh my god, That's yeah. Mad, so my it? sister and her girlfriend, oh my gosh, houses are the most stressful things. They're moving. Not like that ours Property is. market's just mental in Cardiff at the moment, isn't property it? Property market's mental. Um, yeah, they've been trying to move out of my parents' house and they found this house that they absolutely loved and they offered, like you said, yeah. 6k above asking and it was like That's so many, so, so many people offered it? for it and so many people wanted it and... I can't believe someone offered more it's, than I that. I know, in terms of it's gutting, but then they were right not to offer more. But then yeah. it's gutting because they wanted the house. Oh my god, I'm actually so upset about that. I know, that. same. It just came through on my watch when we were talking. I was like, <gasps> we were convinced they were going to get it. I literally am so upset about that. Oh wow. Yes, houses are so stressful. If you're trying to oh, move no. house right now, I'm sending you yeah, a kiss and a hug. Do. Genuinely, we, we, we had a lot of stress before moving into this house, didn't we? Yes. Like, it just takes so long and it's so heartbreaking when. You think like, are they gonna pull out? Are they, you know, are we gonna pull out? Yeah. But like, it's just, it's just horrible. But like, we're so chuffed. We kind of follow, you know, follow through with this house. And we're 
like every day you were like we made the right decision like, every day this house and we love this location i was even hugging like, so lucky hugging my pillar yeah, the other day like. which i don't even like you don't like <laughs> i was even hugging and kissing my pillar saying i just love this house so much and i'm so grateful. and i will learn to love you if it's too expensive <laughs> to get rid of you <laughs> I will. I promise. We'll make friends. I can put some cute art on you or something. Okay, that was a fun section of the vlog. Uh, also, what I are feel we doing like now? We're adults now. In terms of, you start to really learn the true cost of things. Yeah. So like now we're in this world where we want to do work to our house and like mm. we're truly learning how much things cost. And when like your kids and you're saying, well, I, I was one of those yeah. people who was like, I think we need a new bathroom, man. Like, yeah. I really want like a new shower with the, like the big shower head. Only James like, now would that we've say done that. bathrooms, I'm like, they're so expensive. And My kid so, says that, I think I'll give them a hit across the head. So time consuming. <laughs> like people what? with kids, oh people with gosh. families. Three weeks for two wow. bathrooms. And doing this extension, the guys were like, be about three months. I was like, I can't live in a house that's being three months. For three yeah. months. Three months isn't even long. Like if you're doing a huge renovation, it can be like up oh to a gosh. year. Like I, I can't months, even. Yeah. I cannot even. But then again, I guess like houses are lived in for years and years and yeah. years and years and they are literally it's worth getting it right. We've talked about it right. not bothering to do any work and just putting in a new kitchen. Yeah. And, but then it's like that's not what we want and then like you're making a rash decision. Yeah. So it's worth taking like six months to a year to make sure you're doing the right thing. Because we're impatient and we're we like, Oh, we've already people. waited six months, let's just do something with it. No, yeah. let's just wait another week. Yeah. See what the structural engineer says. Indeed. Stay calm. It's all gonna be fine. Anyway, I think now we're going to go and do some errands, not change, really errands. Change the thing, from talking about high-end extensions, we're going to go to Hobbycraft. To get a needle. <laughs> I broke my embroidery needle last night, which I was gutted about, because I find it really hard to find the right size embroidery needle. Yeah. So I'm going to go to Hobbycraft, get embroidery needles, and we also need to pick up a brass mm -hmm. doorknob for our ensuite cupboard. And it still doesn't have you one. for your sister as a sympathy yes. present? What can we get her? I feel so bad. Nothing house related. No. We'll have a think. Mm -hmm. I'm gutted about that. Bye Mila. Won't be long. Have your bye Mila treat. Love you, bye. We won't be long. We know you'll miss us. Got the bags, got the coffee. Yeah, let's, this one. let's go. So we picked up some string from Hobbycraft. This is a little bit thicker than the string that I usually use, but I had I bought one of these by accident recently and I absolutely loved how it turned out on the canvas. So I've gone and got some more colours in the thicker string and if you're wondering what the one I usually use is because I get quite a few questions on it, it's this DMC25. To be honest I'm a little bit clueless about like embroidery threads and everything like that so I just go with whatever works for me on the canvas. And then James picked up this from home, which one was it? Home base to... so childish when it comes to the names of those things. What? Just read the name on the pack. Oh, classic knob. <laughs> Like, that is actually quite funny. Quick, it? Oh, it's just another classic, classic knob. knob. <laughs> I, I feel like we never told the story on on here where I found um, my name Karis never gets used in products, oh, yeah. never gets used on key rings, no one has the name Karis. You know when like on websites they have like cute things like the meal address or the Anna coat and they use cute names. Never use Karis. Karis has never been used. The one has time has it been used? never. It's never been used. It's been used Until... once. Here we go. On anthropology, you might think it would be used for something amazing. It was a doorknob and it was Karis Knob. The one time it's I so saw childish. my name used. Karis Knob. The Karis Knob. The Karis Knob. Get your Karis Knob. I nearly bought one, but then James said that was a bit pointless, so I, I agreed. I was literally just buying you it, didn't leave one. I think it's a good name to put knob after. <laughs> You know, we don't want to buy it, if anything. We'll stop yeah, people from true. buying Karis knob. Boycott this! Okay, um, right, so here is the gold knob. Classic knob. The golden knob, the golden classic knob that James has bought for the ensuite. It's an antique bra, so we're not sure if it's going to be too... Antique-y. Antique-y to match the rest of the brass, but it's just really nice and classy. It's a classic knob, so we're going to test that when we get home. Hello! Hello, you brought us my flip flop. Thank you very much. This <laughs> thing will go better with the outfit rather than the boots. Yeah, I do agree. Hot summer's day. I agree, Mila. You should have been there for me when I was leaving to put on the flip flops instead of these clunky boots. Okay, so this is the brass tap. Boom! James absolutely smashed it. They match perfectly, and it's going to look fantastic and practical and practical with a little knob on there. And it matches that, and it matches that, and it matches that. So happy. Well done, James. Hello. Hello. How are you? 
How are you? Oh, we don't need that anymore. You do not. Okay, guys, so it is now a couple of hours later. My miniature volcano has turned into an absolutely ginormous volcano on my face. Oh, I don't know how you feel the need to say that. It's actually quite painful because it's so it? huge, so it's been on my mind, and I'm really out of breath from walking up the stairs again. Dinner was nice, though. Dinner was gorgeous. So, we've had a really eventful afternoon slash early evening. We put together a little hamper for my sister and her girlfriend, so and yeah, we gave that to them, and mm. then James cooked amazing fajitas, and we had fajitas. Now, it's nine o'clock. Three minutes to nine, and we're quickly gonna do a bathroom update. Yes. So this is the main bathroom. It is not finished, okay? This is like the last update that we're gonna give, I think, before the finished one. Finishing touches. And you guys know how I bring it together with the finishing touches, well, there's one okay? Quite obvious finishing touch and that needs to occur. Paint. Which is painting the bathroom. Painting and just yeah, you'll see now. But I feel like you didn't see loads of it last time, so here is the bathroom. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, that's obviously just plastered wall. <laughs> that's not going to be pink. So we've got the wall hung covered. We've got the herringbone tiles. We've got the inbuilt shelf. We absolutely love the shower. Yeah, again, the ceiling needs doing. We've got the spotlights. We're absolutely obsessed with the lighting in here because we've got the mirror. And I've got a speaker. Oh, we missed the speaker. Which is standard. We, the plug isn't in the bathroom, so it's okay. The plug's up in the attic, so it is legal. <laughs> yes, it is. James was very high tech and got a speaker put in. And to be fair, I was like, yeah, fine, I won't use it. And then he put on some music while I was in the shower, and I was jamming. I forced music on Kara. She was in the shower, and because you can play it from your phone, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force Kara to listen to some music, and she was like, And I got out, and I was like, fair play, James. Yeah. I had a real good shower jam. And look at the lighting in the mirror. Like that is just, mm. and you just wave your hand, <laughs> turn it off. So easy. Turn it on. So easy. We've got a nice little shelf here. Inbuilt shelf here. Nice little inbuilt shelf over there. The white this is the first time I'm seeing this actually on. Oh yeah, I know. So they only put this on today. It looks really good. And this, for some people, this yeah. seems confusing, but... It's a cupboard. It's a cupboard. We obviously haven't sorted any of it. Two drawers. Two drawers. Oh, that's quite lovely. Yeah, they do, don't they? They're really nice. So this is also from Ticket Moon along with that. Everything. But yeah, we've got everything else from Drench and we're going to talk about that. Just give you a In, bathroom update. Yes. Once it's painted. Once it's painted, we will literally say where everything's from. We will update you on everything. Got spotlights. And we need a colour. We need to think of a colour yeah. for the walls. Because we've got one wall that needs painting. Well, number two. Painting. Sorry. Number three. Yeah. Apart from the tiles, everything <coughs> and the ceiling. So we're probably going to go boring and just go white because yeah. it's James and Karis. Oh, I don't feel like you saw that vanity actually. Very well. Vanity with oh, a drawer. Look at it. Fill in that Tile rail. Tap. Amazing. Amazing. So happy with how it's turned out, and the bath mat's already dirty, as James said it would get dirty from White yeah, Company. You know what? White things do get dirty pretty, pretty easily, don't But they? that was from White Company, and it was on offer. Uh, it's still on offer for seventeen pounds. So James was like, "Let's order some more because we love the style of it and how thin it is, and it dries super yeah. quick." Um, so we ordered three more in like a slate grey, really dark yes. colour. Um, so hopefully it won't show. Because I love tower mats like that because, like you said, you can use them, put them on the radiator and then they dry within a couple of hours. It, yeah. So then if we get a slate grey, they also won't get dirty. We can just like wash them once a week. They will get dirty, they just won't show up. Kids next door playing outside. Oh, <laughs> anyway, that is it from us. We're going to go and watch Harry Potter, guys. We're on a Harry Potter marathon. I say that. It's just bright. The lighting is good in here though. I'm liking this. I know, it's honestly, we should be coming in here to vlog. They are the word, aren't they? Welcome back to our channel. Yeah, they are. We only have one spotlight in the ensuite and it's so bright. Yeah. Anyway, we're on a Harry Potter, the Harry Potter marathon. We're on yeah. some film number two. So mm -hmm. we're going to go and watch that with my sister and her fiance who have been living with us since before lockdown. Smashed up. We hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We have so many updates Thanks coming soon. Interrupt. We have, um, we sent out today a mm. YE email. We just had a little bit of um, issue with certain stock, which we're really sorry about. Um, so we have sent out an email to kind of everyone who is affected by that. But thank you so much for your patience. And again, thank you so much for ordering. I and mean, we really can't wait to kind of yes. get all the items out. And Thankfully, it wasn't too many no. orders, but mm. we've been trying to do the best that we can for those yes. ones that have yes. because it just we want it to run as smoothly as possible so mm -hmm. we hope you guys get your orders and love them 
Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and turn your notice on. Love you so much guys. Bye. Bye so much guys. See you Bye. soon.